All right, hello everyone. My name is Ace Sun and welcome to The Forgotten City. This is a narrative-driven time loop adventure through cities, landscapes, and the breathtaking era that is the ancient Roman Empire. We have a little thing here from the developers that says here, Dear Tones Creators, As you will discover, this game is full of intrigue and plot twists. Please give your audience a spoiler warning before sharing content from beyond the white hallway so that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to. Sincerely, the Modern Storyteller Team. Please help us avoid spoilers. I do not know exactly what the white hallway means, but it might be obvious when we get there. So without any further ado, let's head right in, shall we? About it the other day, already adjusted the settings and whatnot, and I'm excited. It's been on my wish list for a while now. Won a couple of awards when it came out 2021, I believe. Yeah, so we yeah. A message from the developers. This game is developed by a core team of three people over four years. This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It awards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. Not get one line, but that's fine. Spray and spray your ass. <laughs> spray a little bit. Okay. Okay. Alright. Because it's hoot is fook, as you can hear with the roaring fan that I have in the background. Because you know how it is. So, as I am recording this night, one of WrestleMania has concluded. Did not get to watch half of the damn show because we got a power interruption. Present day. I woke up bright and early to watch, fell back asleep because I slept a little late. And then, when I, whoa! Hey, you're alive. You when I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. You got some coins on me. So, wanna tell me who you are? Uh, sure. Um. Oh, wait, to the guy, sir. Jed, I told you if you're gonna launch Helldivers again, I'm gonna beat. <laughs> Alright. So here, give yourself a little tan, shall we? Call ourselves Aceus. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down? No the idea, river? stranger. What's the last thing you remember? I was searching for ancient ruins. I was on a covert mission. I was on the run from the law. I barely remember anything. I was an archaeologist. I was a soldier. I was a fugitive. Or I was an amnesia. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Uh -huh. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet, and you're 25% faster when sprinting. Okay. You have a military issued firearm, but only have 10 bullets. You'll have to use them judiciously, since there's no way to get more. Okay. Years of studying history give you occasional insights into the ancient world. Ooh. This is intriguing. Because as you know me, it, it did say no blood force, but I like to uh, be dumb and not play along with the stealth and whatnot. If there is stealth in this game, I have no idea. But. These stories are speaking to me. Let us get a coin that the coin designed. Heads for archaeologist, tails for soldier. Let me get a coin real quick over here. If you've never seen one before, a 20 peso Filipina issued coin, brand new, bronze and silver. Again, heads for ancient ruins, tails for covert mission. Alright. Ready. Steady. Oh. Tails. Alright. Never said I could catch a coin flip. <laughs> Planet on tails. Covered mission it is. Really? You're a soldier? But why are you out of uniform? Oh, was it a black op? Are you a soldier of fortune? Yes, ma'am. You know what? Don't answer that. I played a lot of war lately, so. <laughs> but 
This should be a piece of cake for someone like you. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al mm -hmm. for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving hmm. without him. Al, you say? So I'm just kind Al, of stuck here. Waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping... You wouldn't mind going in there to find him? I would if you introduce yourself first. If you can do first. that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Yeah, mind? Actually, I heard a little sound effect. I don't know if you heard that as well. It's usually like an air sound effect from my PC BRB. I'll check that real quick. Instead of about tabbing. And we'll continue on. Sorry about that. After a little extensive looking, nothing. Just decided to play it for its own. It did not bug out the recording, thankfully. So yeah, we can continue on. Questions? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? something from me, maybe? What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? I mean, tell me your name? Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh... I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Uh, why don't you want to tell me? Especially I'm going to be helping you, yeah? All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that <laughs> okay. I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. Funny, funny woman, huh? My name's Karen. Have you seen my life? Why didn't you want to tell me your name? All those Karen memes. I really ruined that name, huh? <laughs> uh... Yeah, something like that. Hey, change for it. But right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. You don't want uh, to divulge on memes, I guess? Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. Mm. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. All right, where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Ooh, okay. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... Pacino. Have you tried going real? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust I guess. me. Yeah. Alright, that's all. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? I guess. I'm going in for the first of all, the first of all, I'll keep an eye out for him. My hero. <laughs> the entrance is just past those columns behind you. Thank you. Quick robo. Into the ruins. Just keep one on the fire. An old wooden rowboat. Karen must have used it to rescue me from the river. Well, that's easy. Well. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. I have a flashlight. You only have 10 bullets. Ah, flashlight from the, the gun. Okay. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, it would have been nice to know some of the archaeological um, duties, but where's all this? We let the fate to decide. My fate and love in point each. Alright. Everybody with flashlight, honestly, honestly. Ah. Excuse me? I've now ski Al's note. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city. What? Hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. Mm -hmm. All knowledge of it lost. Except in the Latin inscription here. It ah, reads damn, You who wish oh, to enter it. the city, step forth and be judged. Ooh. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. Uh -huh. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For Ooh. this 
shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have Ooh. remained a secret for all this time? The people have survived down there, against the odds. It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not oh. back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. What's it? Or a warning. Cool. Al Worth. Al Worth. A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty pointed packets. Nothing valuable here, but still it's uh, strange. I left it behind. Uh, Can I open it up? Nope. Okay. Let us be judged. water to another. Interesting. Secret city. Alright. Normally I would go walking through there, but I don't think there would be anything that it doesn't look like anyway. Follow Al's trail. Al's trail ski. We have like an in oh quest tracking. And oh ancient Roman coin made of silva. Like and a nine millimeter ammo. Okay. Oh, I get like. Excuse me. Latin. The pressure for my Latin, my dead language. There's some. I am Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. Mosaic. Ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. Oh. If only I could read that then. <laughs> oh, great. If only, if only I had picked archaeologist. Alright. Mid stride, what could have made a gladiator flee? I wonder. Everyone's trying to be able to. Knock, knock. I pushed the door open. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Looks like she was begging for her life. Feared for her life like Tony Ganya. <laughs> this joint, wow. If I, okay, so I may do save scum, sure. There was no real difficulty thing because I never really tried launching this before, as you noticed, so I don't know. Uh, attempting to scramble away from something. I don't know if we're going to get fucked a lot or whatever, we'll see. Degenerary in a state of terror. Away. Away, away, away. Freeze. I've got a gun. Ow, pow. What's up? All day. A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help. That never came. All these whispers about. Oh, the golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al. How is that possible? Read the stone tablet. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, Other. she'll suffer the same fate I did. All right, let, let's let's read it. Sorry, I <laughs> walked over in this place. Going around and around in circles, oh, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. Ooh. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. 
I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. We'll find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Bunkers. You telling me the super slide, Dave? That's, uh... <sighs> can't tell me you that. I got some comparisons to this to death loop. To say the better. Um, if any of you know that game. I did not watch much of it. I watched um, one of the OG YouTubers slash um, streamers now play it. I didn't watch it in completion. It was fun. That's uh, some parallels that this game has been looking. So let's see. Because it is in the Steam bio that this is a narrative loop. I remember his knees as we were begging his gods from the sea. Going. Except the door right now. Beautiful. You know me, I love me a good indie game. Talking about adventure, talking about RPG, you talking about in a room, any time period for that matter. If done right, if done correctly, you'll keep me seated. I can love it. Right. Tie it back to what I was saying earlier. Um, when I woke up, I was trying to load the notification because I got a notification from the app that I used that WrestleMania is streaming live now. I was clicked on it, okay. They were telling me that we had no internet. I'm like, huh? And then I looked around, there were no lights on, even though it was like 8, not, almost 9 in the morning. And I was like, we have no power on my day off, always on my day off. But at least it didn't last super long, I suppose. But yeah, missed half the show. Ugh, I missed so much of it. I, had, I only watched like three matches out of the uh, card that I detailed in my predictions, which is sad. Can't even watch everything more because I have school work. I hate it. <laughs> Anywho, anyway, just wait for this to load and then get into all this past business, shall we? It didn't say that I forget me now. Okay, it didn't say that I needed to or recommended that I use an SSD. So I guess it's just that. Or it just did say, but it actually does recommend, who knows. Point of origin, figure out how to return to your original time. I want to leave depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. Gee, if only I was an archaeologist. Freeze! <laughs> what is up everybody? Hello good sir. Oh wait, who two guys are? Uh, salve friend. Hello. I'm Galerius. Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Proserpina? And I got lost. And I've just come from the future. You're speaking English? <laughs> Shrine of Proserpina? Uh, yeah, I'm more concerned that you're speaking English, actually. Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent is strange. I'm speaking Latin. Hell yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. Changing the subject like <laughs> that. Nice try. But I'll ask again. Who are you? And what were you doing in the shrine? Sorry. Uh, what shrine? Yeah, you know. Agricultural goddess of springtime? Ooh, it is spring now. You're not from around here, are you? No, sir. And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, Sorry, sorry. You? Uh, my one mind loves time. to wonder. Who are you, and what were you doing in that shrine? It is I, Aceus of the Futurius. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not <laughs> Excuse <in> me. <laughs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome Sure, here. thank you, then. Uh, seriously, what's the date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say... Early March? Sides of March? Hell yeah. <laughs> What's the year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 
817 years since the founding of Rome. All right. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? The Mongolian, I'm Asian. That doesn't help me. Is this before or after Christ? Never mind. Of course I knew that. Hey, not so loud. Ooh. Just saying that name could land you in trouble here. If you haven't heard, his cultists burned down half of Rome last cultists? year. Cultists? Horrible business. I heard Nero Cold executed depressed? some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Oh, Nero. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. Can I off Nero? But listen. Most folks seem a bit confused when they it's get It's during here, Christ. <laughs> All right. You seem very lost, and mm -hmm. in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Okay. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. All right. Your laws? What is a kilometer? <laughs> Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. All right, I guess. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Uh, sure. Thank you. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Yeah. Beautiful. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. Oh. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost Karen. in, if you're not careful. Ooh. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Pretty. Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. Hell yeah, Aurelia. Thank you. Really loves the music. Whoa! I don't know. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Good volume. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Hello, Karen. Ah, don't mind Livia. Oh. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here Not on your right here, is the is chasm. Oh. If you've got a weapon, oh. it belongs way down at the bottom. Up Probably. on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Mm -hmm. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, mm -hmm. and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm Honestly, welcome. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of. Uh... You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it yeah, easy, Horatius. I was just that. taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. Damn. You'd better go with him. Just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. Yes, sir. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Farm boy? How are you? Greetings, citizen. Good okay, sir. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. All right, did we? Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the yeah, region, yeah, me too. I served in the mutiny region. brewing in Although, one cohort, many years later, <laughs> when I get in charge, wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. Mm -hmm. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Oh, another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Hell yeah, I'm fresh. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. Damn. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. Who's up these stairs? Alright, a woman with a gun. That explains it. You like my you like my fancy gun? Hello love. Barbarians! Okay. They're, they're not oh, unloading his gun. I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? 
What do you think about the golden rule? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Uh, fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's, That's what I thought. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, yeah. or like, like people are saying, spicy. it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Mm -hmm. I suppose we'll find out sooner or later. Hmm. I suppose we will. You get to your story. I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. Nice but you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Charming. I'm not from Moralia. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, mm. and impressive mastery of our customs. I try my best, thank you. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? You're carrying it alone, yeah. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Yes, ma'am. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Sentinel. Ooh, we sent in a Karen, perhaps? Wish you mouth breathers would just... Leave me alone. Nick. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Yeah, why can't you? Was she snatched away by, by the harpies? Uh, when your name's so similar, you look surprisingly relaxed. <laughs> <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, mm -hmm. and I remember she seemed happy. In love. Hey. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. Interesting. That's it. You seen someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, mm. even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, uh -huh. eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Mystery meat. Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't come that forward. Down, that come might on. speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Out of the twenty left, yeah, sure. You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. Lovely. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. That's one way of putting it, right? His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she's Sentia affectionately Minor. known as Sentilla. Yeah. Why? Uh, because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. Yes. I hope you're not <laughs> insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Not at all. Just an observation. I think you know something you're not telling. Should I bluff her? Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Sorry. I forgot to quick save for that. Can I... I F9. Oh no, when I ever... Oh no. How long back are we going? Wait, wait, wait. When did I go? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, let me just go through all that again real quick. Hear me. Uh, sup? Oh, is that right? Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? But you lip. No. Look, you. Alright, Follow me! When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living. Who are you? Are you gone, girl? Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. I'm just gonna... <laughs> and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but Ooh. the moment I laid eyes on you, I was... Intrigued. I have that effect on the I can tell from the way you carry yourself. 
You're a warrior. Oh, like an ear on a journey far, far from home. Yes, ma'am. Such bravery. You're charming as you are before. Oh, it's coming on a bit strong, yes. don't you think? Excuse me. I take back what I said. So let's just forget that ever happened. So we can at least do business. Um, I'll be going. All right. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Your <laughs> chest. Thank you. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Where are you going, dude? After everything we've built. No! <laughs> okay, I just wanted to test of the earth. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. Honestly. Look for the time once. Not today. We're not gonna do that yet. <laughs> Let me do the proper. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galeria. Salve. Oh no, it loads me as if we've done this before. Oh. Oh. I never even got Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the hat. Thank you. Oh. Oh no, is she permanently dead? Okay, no. Hello. Oh, you're here. And, uh, I can... What was that? Some kind <sighs> I take back. Let's just... Oh. Alright, hold on. Ah, it loads an auto. Hold on. I load this one. Yes. Load the actual quick save, please, dude. Thank you. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Alright, this is different. Alright, shall save some more from now on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me just run through. Get back to um, this dude up there. And then actually do this properly, shall we? To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, yeah, yeah, yeah. she'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, mm -hmm. searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. Shut up, Here, there are only two options. Death. That godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I'm sorry about that. I really we tried. will get back into whatever I did. I actually took me right back to the beginning. Of the story, don't, you believe? don't make the same mistake. Uh, Hello, Mike. It is I, I've gotten lost. Oh, is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Really? Don't have really you really disrespecting really? the gods by accident, can we now? Mm -hmm. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... You seem very lost. Yes. And in more like ways I said, I am lost. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Sure. Not laws. It's but up to that. All right. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't oh, I believe be right there were there. people living down here. But as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Yes, sir.
<laughs> Hurry. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, Fine. since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark <gasps> enough to get lost in, possibly. if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. All right. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Hurry, hurry, hurry! I'm trying to talk. Ah, oh, you're here, and uh, I can. I'm so sorry. Why? Just because I'm a woman? Honey, it's your loss. Mm -hmm. I take back what I... Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least... An asshole. Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want... I saw him on escape. Straight to business, huh? As a matter of fact, I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I okay. don't just give you it out like some cheap oracle. Attack or so, pursue the stone. How badly do you want it? Return. Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? You don't even have a thousand on you. Tell me more about what I'd be buying. If you have a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? I think I have to go to keep all these people trapped in here, knowing there's a way out. How do I know? I'll pass things. What's the matter? Can't afford it. Maybe. Well, perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others on occasion. Okay. Certainly. For ten denarii. Ah, she doesn't. Okay. Whatever you like. Bye-bye. All right. Shoot you again, but we missed. <laughs> There's a crazy lady that uh, walked into there. Crazy looking lady. Sorry. Didn't mean to rant you. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. Mm -hmm. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. I have no idea that. Fair enough. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Thank you. I get that a lot as well. <laughs> Alright, save scum, save scum, save scum. Let's go. What's up this way? Oh! What is this place? Can we go to school? And see. Beautiful little landscape venture. Hello? Uh... Hello? Hello. What's your story? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they... I wonder they said they had to lock me up. Have you I don't know. I don't remember things so good. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because I was... Looking for treasure. Some of you think you were going to steal? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. You said it all? They said I did it. More than once. Hmm. But I can't remember things so good. A liar, Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. Oh. About Alma? Yes. They said I have to live here now, and gave me this letter. Sure, I'll leave it, But I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? Sure. Summary. 
Magistrate Sentius explains Dooley was locked up to prevent him from trespassing. I am writing to you in relation to your incurable, incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message that this treasure that you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns, which are simply off limits to citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability and must have your freedom limited, thus you break the golden rule. What's uh, reading golden? Oh, that's what does it say? And they locked you up to stop you breaking the rule. Uh, my treasure. My friend treasure? Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then, he died. Hmm. It was very For sad. Him. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. Ah, I see. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. Would you like me to All go I find this treasure? All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. No. Oh. Hannibal I didn't trust. Said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone mm. I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. I'm talking about sure. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Like Galerius. Ooh. A virtuous nice. man. I like Galerius. He made me a doll. He made oh, yeah. me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Mm -hmm. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. See ya, Dully. Nice talking to you. Um, and what the golden rule? Where is a man there? Is strange on the market. Ooh, look at this place, my man. Beautiful. But as I was going to say earlier before this guy, don't talk to me about it. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius. Alright. Follow me. Hold on. The only thing you really need to understand. Hold on, hold on. I need to talk to my man. How do I get down there? I need to talk to my guy real quick. Sorry, sorry. Get down this way. How the heck do I even get down here? The park we're done. Ah! <laughs> Hello. Nice shape, honestly. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. I now, almost, um, what's in your mind? Uh, Doid, but pretty good. I bounced the idea around once or twice, right, politics. mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. Mm -hmm. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Oh. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. Oh, I can persuade him. That's good enough for me. I can try.
Gladly. All right. I'll save scum real quick. The red bar went away when I started talking to him. Ah, but no. I doubt but. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Exactly. Oh, that's it. Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. Mm -hmm. I have the time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, Britannia. with my parents Camelodunum. and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. Okay. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. Mm -hmm. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up. Mm -hmm. But by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter Sorry, with legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon oh. after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young. Okay. It was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. Mm -hmm. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, Ooh. and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many. Uh -huh. As the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. It still burns whenever I think about it. Sorry to hear that. Huh? Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. Mm -hmm. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome. To be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master. Learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Mm -hmm. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. Mm -hmm. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Oh, yeah. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. Never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. Interesting. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. Mm -hmm. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Yeah. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. Mm -hmm. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, Definitely. it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get Nemesis. his. Uh... Forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Sure. Sure, Thanks, the light. friend. I knew I liked you. Oh. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk Thank about? You for sharing. All right. See you. See you, big man. And now, how do I get another? <gasps> Games. <gasps> A golden egg. That's just a golden butterfly. That's some goose eggs. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Can't talk to the goat. Yeah.
I don't have them. Alright. Lovely, lovely. We will now go up. Sorry, I really dodged you real quick, but we can go now. Keep an eye out for Sentilla, would you? What now? Uh. Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. Mm -hmm. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. And if you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like Hundred Eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Mm -hmm. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Okay. That would be considered to be collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Mm. Well, I mean, that's what happened in the war, honestly, but yeah, we're going to make it different. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. What's done is done. Mm -hmm. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, yeah. and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh. And I've come to accept my lot. Right. As with the golden rule. I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. All right, thank you. If you like. Bye bye. All right. See you again later. It's tab, not that. I got. I'll need to make a proper amount of majority. Yeah? I'll do that. Tab. Oh. No more about the golden rule. Get in here. Hello again, Luke. Oh, another one fresh out of the... Oh, I wish her rape. I'm Sentia, El... Charming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. You... I... Let's go through the whole real quick. I... What? Just observation. If you must know, I'm here because my father has forbidden me from leaving the villa. I, I couldn't bear to lose you too, he says, as if he loves me, and not because he needs at least one daughter he can trade off. So you'll help me find her? I'll do it. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. Mm hmm. Yeah, Thank you. Let's do that then. Room by the front door. Ceramic ink jar. Oh no. Right, so that she has decided to escape. Sentilla to Sentius and Sentia, may Clementia give you the strength to forgive me. I am so sorry to have to leave you this way, but I have found a way to escape and I must take it. I hope we meet again. Someday. Oh. Last mirror. Interesting. A vial. Perfumey. Lovely. Cool. Oh. That's kind of lame. Anyway. No, sir, real quick. Let me... That's kind of lame. 
I guess it's really all seeing, you know. <laughs> I can't do no tomfoolery. Take it. No. Five again. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. What have you discovered? I bet you just live here. What? Really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. I wonder how I could have missed right. it. Strange, but your eyes. well done, I suppose. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an escape of her own. And yet, Yulia's still here. Mm. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Alright, I can do that real quick. Ask Yulia. Hello, Yulia. There's no marker. Hello, good sir. I can't let you push me up, sadly. Lock it in. Alright, let's go to the magistrate first. Actually, get this done. You know? Oh. Citizen? Why'd he come down? You're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Axius. A curious name. To match a curious accent. But I digress. Mm -hmm. I see you have the posture of a soldier, though. I've not seen that in a woman before. Ooh. You must be of the Amazonian people. Mayhaps. I pray to Mars your skill set won't be necessary here. But time will tell. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you. And I'll get yeah, to you that. Yeah, you summoned me, but, but for some reason first, you came down to look for me. Take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Right. Yeah. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. In the 20s. Okay. 22 complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. Okay. No fights, no theft, nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Can't say I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, oh. every last one of us will die. Okay. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one from what I we can gather over. breaking mm -hmm. the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment like the curses of medusa and midas combined turning us all to gold mm. we've come to call it the golden it's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. You think so? Yeah. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters okay. is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. Mm. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual mm, to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. Okay. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? 
people to you. Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? It had been forgotten. I have imagined it, our downfall a thousand times, but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. These questions will be available later. Okay. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on I you to, to figure out who's <laughs> about to break the golden rule? I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, mm. talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back daughter. and tell me immediately. All right. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. Okay. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Get right on it. Let's go! Meet Lucretia. So meet Lucretia. Isn't Fear the great is temple of majestic? a degenerate mind. Elu. Nice to meet you, stranger. A new face. Ave. Should you guys are. Yeah. I'm Equitia. Ah. To what do I owe the, the pleasure of this name. visit? Equitia. What is the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? I'd like to nominate Galerius, who's allowed to vote. And nominate another Karen tonight. I like the idea, but I know Galerius well, and his position has always been that he won't run unless Maliolus withdraws. Mm. It was only yesterday that he said to me he'd only ever run if it was absolutely necessary to make sure Sentius wasn't re-elected. So... I suppose if you'd like to see Galerius elected magistrate, mm. you'd need to persuade Maliolus to withdraw somehow. All right. Certainly. Can I propose me? <laughs> What's your story, ma'am? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. <laughs> I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Okay. Sorry. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due <laughs> formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? I'm sorry. Sorry, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. I see. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. Okay. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. Oh. It'll be a refreshing change. Uh, what's a vessel priestess? You really don't know? You are from far away, aren't you? Yes, well. I am early. one of the priestesses, charged with keeping the sacred flame in Rome's shrine of Vesta burning. I take it you know who Vesta is? Um, remind me? Vesta is the mother goddess of hearth and home, and hearth the guardian and of the Roman people. Hearth? Thank you. See you again soon, I hope. Well, bye now. Keeping an eye on things, Horatius? As always, Priestess. Any news about Centilla, Navia, or Kabash? No sign Ooh. of any of them, I'm afraid. Oh, Hello, love. Lucretia, what's up? What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant yeah. called Silphium, but that cool as Cubolates Decius won't give it to me. I'm sorry, I wish I could help. Yes. It's too late. She just slipped away. She was poisoned. 
She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. The then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere yes. else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here. Yeah, I take that. Golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. Well, and now man, I'll never man, know man. who poisoned her. Or yeah. how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Certainly not yet. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric Fututo and scratching his eyes out. I wish I know your thing, Aviles. That's dangerous stuff. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Thank you, girl. Poor lady. Another non Excuse me. Ugly man. Salve. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our like little it, slice of the empire. I'm Dacius. Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia, but we just have to carry on, don't oh, we? Oh, that was you. Wow. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. What is wrong with you? Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Why would you do? Hear what? That whisper. Ah, uh, you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another navy on our hands. Well, she claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody mm. else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and... We never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this sylphium or not? How would I come without that? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a Five job, years, work hard, dude. and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? I would love nothing more than to shoot you. Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? Well, just for you. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? Nice try. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? Very well. I don't even find that in the soul. Ah, over here. Because the gods can still see me. <laughs> okay. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I'm taking this with me, thank you. Let's go, man. This crime was necessary, thank you. Eat. Take me in, let's go.
Lovely. Hello again. Uh, salve, friend. Yes, uh, we've had this conversation before. Oh. Thank you again for this. Just attach the. All right. Thank you. What do I have here? I restarted the day and now I'll give it to her before Yulia dies. Let's go. Easy. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stem. Whoa. Okay. I love it, I dig it. Can I take it again? <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> hey Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacis, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. Oh, bye. The many shall suffer no, I have for the sins of Oopsie, sorry. I have two, right? Yes, I have two. <laughs> See you later. Damn. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, there's a zipline. Where does it want me to go? Okay. Oh Hello, oh. Um. Still wants me to go to the fridge, if I should go. Come on. I guess I didn't wait for him long enough. Follow me, quickly. I know, I know, I know. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, should be again. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Now to do the game, shall we? I quite like this here. Hello again. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and. I've had the choir. Of course. No way there. Well, oh, I don't give it much thought these days. Uh, I can't even. Oh. See you later. Let me eat. Ah, oh, that's cool. All right. Another run is hardly that long. That's so fun. Just crumble at me. Hello. What are you doing in here? She needs the red. I have it. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. Here's the reason. Hopefully, in a moment, she should be able to breathe normally. Honestly, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> ah, look. If you don't want to tell me, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. There you go. But no matter. That was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. What can I say? You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. Mm -hmm. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Oh. Is that normal? Oh no. Sorry. Oh, no. I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not that is normal. Good. <laughs> there was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. Mm -hmm. But that was Nivia, and uh, 
She went a little mad. I bet. Anything about what? About nothing. Mm. Sure. What do you want to know? Uh, yeah, that. Uh, how did you know that? Yes, she did mutter something about the only way out. A few times, but nothing more than that, I'm afraid. I see. Okay. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule. And so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. All right. Gladly. That's a shame. Thanks Thank again for shame. saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Thank you. I hope it does. Hello, lady. You good? You Gucci? Oh, it's you. Excuse me. Sorry, okay. I'm still a bit out of it. That mm -hmm. I was gonna go thanks on your for trying to help me, I suppose. Trying? Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Please. No. I did hear from Ulpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. Ulpius. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so Ooh. I can't help you, I'm afraid. <laughs> I was. And look where it got me. What happened exactly? <sighs> I can tell you, but it's a long story. Please tell me. I have all the time in the world. All right. I'd been here about a week. Mm -hmm. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. Mm -hmm. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, a secret? I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. Ah, Aurelia. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. Mm. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. Yeah. So she suggested I take out a loan from mm. Maliolus. And That's I what she did. Told me too. I'm not proud of it, but mm. yes, I was surprised he agreed to it, to be honest. But I was so happy to have the money I didn't question it. Numbers. I had to sign an agreement saying I'd work off the debt over 30, 30 years. 30 years? That's crazy. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't, it matter. wouldn't matter. Thanks. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. The poison. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. What's it? It's a deadly poison uh... made from a plant. Drink this, she said, and you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she money refused. First, money down. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, let the buyer beware. Then she just mm. looked at me with Good. those cruel black eyes and she... She laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only, he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, yeah. he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Uh -huh. Yeah, surely that would have, yeah. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. Yes. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years nothing and really. there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too, but Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, mm -hmm. so he locked me in his villa confiscated everything I owned as collateral and made me wear immodest, humiliating no, outfits while I worked no. day in, day out. His wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. Mm -hmm. I'd be on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor clean for hours only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Mm -hmm. Those two took everything from me. 
But they forgot to confiscate one thing. Mm -hmm. My hemlock. Ah, so you blamed yourself. I just wanted it to be oh. over. But it Forbidden. seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. How <laughs> exactly innocent in all this? Mm. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met, and tried to swindle the other. Mm. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. Brazil. So let me know. When I've recovered, I'll leave you to it. Bye -bye. I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I started. Brazil. Only this time. I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Mm. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. Oh. Can I do anything? I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Probably. How much would that cost you? A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... Ooh. I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. Yonkers, dude. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Yeah. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus's villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise oh. to him. Perhaps I can help him too. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. Also. I don't know who you are or why you seem so determined to help me, but thank well, you. But I'm in your world now, and I'll get right on it. May Apollo keep you safe. Thanks, woman. Dang, that's high up. How do I even get up there? Here. Stop grumbling in my ear, dude. You did that earlier, too. <laughs> so this way? Oh. Locking myself in, don't try to follow me, nothing good will come of it. Obtain evil. Can't open it again. Let me guess, a thousand denarii for a bill? Hello! Can I not zip line? Lady. Okay. I guess I can only do it from rocks. This is beautiful what they've constructed here. Honestly. I haven't played an indie game in such a long time. This is a nice breath for sure. The bluff. I've made it up onto the bluff in time. Question mark. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. I didn't recall Welcome your to name. life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, isn't it? It's not? something. How are you faring so far? Actually, I really need to talk to Opius, please. All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever. I can't believe this is how it ends. Sorry, I have to... Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. Yeah, that's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. Oh, We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Dude, talk to me first. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, this. it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Um... Where did my mouse go? There you go. Thank you. 
And please, choose your words carefully. I will. Go on, then. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Uh, no. I think you have the right to die if you're suffering badly enough. I was just going to ask you what's wrong. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay uh -huh. it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Hey. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! no. I... Wow. I can't believe he went through with it. I... Yes, I oh, suspect Lord. him because he already... Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Rule. Well. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. Mm -hmm. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Poor Ulpius. Excuse me? Want me to jump? Where'd you go? You heard the voices! Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? Mayhaps. That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. I'll go with both. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Um, sir, sir. I'm Maliolus. And if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. I bet. I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promised. Mm -hmm. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. Yeah. I'll do that. By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Moon. Mm -hmm. It's easy. a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. It's definitely true. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. No, you're not sure. Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. Okay. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. What? Oh, ho, ho, I see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by... I don't know about him, but his mic quality is different. <laughs> he won't get away with this much longer. And that might just be his voice. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. Sadly. You mean the children's fable mm -hmm. exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? I trust you can see yourself out. Sure. Through the door this time. There's a key just beside it. All right. How do I get him out? Freedom, Equitia. Okay. I can't steal anything, certainly, so.
cooking for ventilation, but the Romans moved it, I suppose. The carrots are purple. <laughs> nice. Not from Yulia? Ooh. I already be deed, sadly. Yonkers. Not from Utopius. Laments his lost love. Boss, get it out. All right. Thank you. Beside the door. That's it. Elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Thank you. Dude, where's your key? Goddess of strategy. <laughs> so in there. Where's this dude's key? And uh yes, uh no more shall you walk on um uh walk on uh, for protection. Eggshell eggshells, yes, 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 yes. No more should you walk on eggshells, fearing simply the live and breathe because the tyrant is Can I just jump out? Nope, ow. My first act. My first act. You again. I can't find your stupid I trust key. Truth. He's just beside it, allegedly. There's no map that he would put it under. Where did he pull the gel for some reason? Dude, I can't find the key to get out of here. Okay. Um. I'm sorry. There's, no, there's another door here. So I think it's like that. I'm sobbing stopped. Ah, there it is. Unlock the key. There you go. Has that locked the door upstairs? Let's see. Open up. Who's crawling in there? Oh, his wife, maybe? I'm not supposed to be in here. I know, where do you keep your valuables? Talk. Why are you locked in here? My marital affairs and. Ah. I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged into my villa? You're I have her? quite enough marriage trouble already, without having to explain to my husband why I'm receiving strange women in private. You love it, don't you? Finally! This is outrageous! Goodbye. Oh! Damn, we got a lot of money, girl. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's my money now. Bye! Sweet scoot skirt. Ow. Heh, <laughs> you missed. That's my money now, dude. I'm just waiting for big boy. There he is. Thank you. Alright. This is fun. <laughs> really fun. Hello, game. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? <laughs> I'm recording. I need to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Yulia is dying, but Lucretia can't help her without the Sulfrium. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? 
Oh no. All right, I can do that. That's it. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Don't worry. I'll let you know soon enough. <laughs> what is that? Alright, I need to get up to the bluff ASAP now. Same guy grumbling, go. Let's get her up. Let me guess you'd like a grand for me to make the uh, to get the bow probably. And do that in a bit, however. I would like to stop OBS from doing this with it. I get this done. Where could I go? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Hello, Octavia. Welcome to life. All right. I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you? That's what? Why do you? I please. I'm sorry. Please help. No. Good luck with that, I'm not a. Thank you. You know about that? Yes, sir. How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. Mm -hmm. Really? You never believe me if I told you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. I can help solve your problem. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made. If I backed out now. I'm pretty sure I was able to get some. Yeah. Oh, really? But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Funny that you mentioned them. Actually, I do. Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. I know it's nice seeing your face for once. No, you'd be free. You'd do that for us. A couple of complete strangers. Yes, sir. No questions asked. It seems today we are both Deed resolved. blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Oh. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here's your money. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. No, I just wish there was some way I could <laughs> repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. No need to repay me. You can tell me about the relationship. Ah. And there it is. <sighs> it's the least you could have done. All right. Centilla and I were in love. And then, 22 days ago, she I already have a feeling Santa Liz Karen. All right. Stop from the beginning, shall we? One night a few months Lord ago, me, baby. when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. Ooh. It Always was the, sirens on there. the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I wasn't allowed out, mm -hmm. so once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof just to see where that sound was coming from. Right. And that's when I saw her. Standing in the garden of the magistrate's villa, I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. Love you, love you. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hopeful. Oh. And then she looked up and saw me and she smiled. <laughs> I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her, and from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, uh -huh. I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so, for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here, like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her they said she'd vanished in the night mm -hmm. all i could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself i was centilla was the one thing that made my life bearable oh. but with her gone things unraveled quickly 
You saw how bad it got. Yep. I think you died being something. <laughs> it wasn't just a skip tower. All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. I don't have enough courage. She'd I never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. Mm. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her she voice in my true. head, crying out to mm. me. I don't know. That can only mean one thing. Somebody to, uh, abducted her. Here. I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. He is without doubting. doubt I don't think the most do. evil man I have ever known. Right. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her, but there is one room in his villa, upstairs, not the which is always locked. I I've never seen that. the inside of it, and I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. I already tried that, there's no sign of that there now. Oh, I see. That, yeah. that was the only idea I had. I'll give it some more thought. Come and find me a little later. I'll sure. go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. Ask if he has I'll never forget what you did idea. for us. Of course. Hello, girl. I think you just ran into frame. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? Hmm. Is there a question? Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but things are very difficult for us right now. Um. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. Mm. There were executions. It was horrible. Your secret's open. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. How are we going for now? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Another time then. Jump into that thing and not die. Let me see. Thank you. <laughs> you are deep. <laughs> I guess that, uh, yeah, I can't do that anymore. I guess. <laughs> or I, overshot, I think I overshot, honestly. Or is it too shallow now to jump into? Yeet. I guess I'm hitting the edge, I'm not hitting the middle anymore. Thank you. I hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, again. Please. Come on. Give it, give it to me. Let me jump in the game. Technically, I can go into this house now, yeah, because I do have the key. And all that. Yeet. Yes. That time I definitely would show Thank you. Thank you. I am. <laughs> I need him to get out of this election. Anyway, since I can't take the shortcut, I'll talk to you, baby. Where's she at, though? It's like she. There she is. Let's get to know more. Lovely to see you again. Can I help you with something? That's no bother. Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. Lovely. It's not quite how I expected my life to oh, go. I, it's a magistrate, not I used always. to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. Mm. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. Mm. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. Something like that, yeah? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins of passage, but unfortunately...
unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. Mm. Oh, Fair that's alright. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Yes. I already know, because, um... Uh, if you like. Such is Christian. Alright, thank you. Ah, oh, that's a shame. There's more to talk about soon, don't you worry. Now, how much money do I have left? Less than 500? Be careful who you trust. Hello, Gail. You good? Sorry, I'm... Was there something you wanted? Um... All right. No new, uh, new dialogue, but sure. At least she's good. <laughs> she's gonna go back to sleep. She said this time it's all hilarious. Let me go and ask Gail. The dude asking for the bowl. Is this the dude that's crumbling at me? Name's Rufius. Whatever. Boy. Meliolus. No. No. Welcome. I hear some weaponry being heard. Hello. Ah, a fellow traveler from a faraway land. Greetings. I'm George. <laughs> it gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. Cool. We must stick together, you and I. Okay. And I must say, George, my yes. sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Thank you. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I can't see what I look like. I have you. traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India. Mm. And never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? Uh, it doesn't exist yet. You never believe me, Vettel. And now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will wait until we are better friends. Uh, we will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Um... That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some Ooh. reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Next. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. I hope that our paths cross. Mm -hmm. Is this the blacksmith? Very heal. Hi, Virgil. Virgil. How much would you want to make me a bow? For the last this time, this is how much you want. I'm not making you a bow. But why? Like a gun. You know why. <laughs> I'm going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon. There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons pen, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. No. Ugh. Me first. Ah, a new face. Up, Virgil. Salve, and welcome Howling. to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. Interesting. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Um. Well, Maleolus is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Mm. Oh, it means someone thinks I'm a sinner, and Ooh. that I'm going to break the golden rule. Interesting. Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Damn. Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. <laughs> okay. Yes, I like men. 
And then you grow up in the north as I did, in the city of Novio Magus. You expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. Mm -hmm. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for... What was it? Nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world, with an assumed name. Mm. My openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be I who I am. <laughs> or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. Mm. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Strange bunch. They insist there's uh. only one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Yes. <laughs> Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Mm -hmm. What? Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. Okay. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. Okay, right on. Come back and let me know what you find. This guy? Okay, I'm talking about Whatever's in that great temple, salve, stranger, and welcome. Mm. I don't, I'm afraid, but I did overhear Fabia telling Georgius she saw something. She was headed to the baths not long ago. Very well. Ask Fabia. She went to the baths. Hello. Whoa. You have to do something. What's wrong? A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was Are you serious? This is an emergency. That is also an emergency. Are you going to help or not? Fine. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. No. What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. <sighs> oh. The shrine is collapsing. So that's it. Fabia, no! <laughs> oh god, she's dead! Did anyone see that? The whole shred just collapsed on me. Right, I'm just fucking. St Whoa! Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? To neutralize? I don't know, Quinctius, sir. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. Huh? I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute How did you get in the here? cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. 
But if you lie to me or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? I swear I wasn't lying. You are not off to a good start. When I ask you a question, I expect an answer. Who do you think you are? Is that understood? You're being unreasonable. I would choose my next words more carefully if I were you. Is that understood? I'm not afraid of you. Ah, then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? This here is a gun, and I'm going to kill you with it. You said you wouldn't kill me by the truth if you fired an arrow when you're going to die. Sure, that's it. Ah, you'd squander your last words on an empty threat. Now it's my turn to tell you something. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. Uh -huh. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh yeah, I did it. You had to do it. You had to do it, huh? Stupid man. It's not my problem. Find me. How am I gonna find you? Alright. Ow! I still shot him. Great. Two grand again. Um, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yulia, no, girl. There, that's where I need to go. Open up. Oh! Open up, open up, open up, open up. I'm fine with it since. It's already been broken anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Steal after the yes. <laughs> Grey Robert. Love it. Alright, I can go now. Bye! Now I must take my leave. Once again. Goodbye everybody. I'll enjoy seeing you all again. Ow! <laughs> Ah, he missed. Some more Latin on the wall that I can't read. I could be able to confront her about that, maybe not. Since I know the truth. Really, not much further, huh? Alright. Let's get into more of that, shall we? Fun as Hello again, my man. Uh, salve, friend. Salve. Ah, oh, sounds. You? Hope he's about to throw himself off the great balcony. Tom Olia will be fine. And given the purse of 2,000 yeah, yeah. But how did you. Oh. That's it. I'll go. Go, my man. Thank you. Cistern. Mm. I know about your secret, Aurelia. 
You dirty little hole. <laughs> you dirty little garden instrument. Oh, you're here. I'm and uh, I can. I know you're a boy. How dare you? You're the bigger. Oh, do us all a favor. <laughs> you deserve. Oh, do us all a. Ixian turns. Let's go straight to the magistrate and see what we can do. I suppose. You can tell him about the assassin. Isn't the great temple majestic Hello, a new face? Oh. I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods. Mm -hmm. We ask for blessings. But here, it's... I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent Ooh. tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Nothing is bad for poetry. I have the time for that, obviously. Wonderful. It goes like this. Baucis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. Mm -hmm. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. Yes. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Mm -hmm. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all. Until finally they come to the little cottage where Baucis and Philemon lived. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their mm -hmm. house and offer them food, wine, and a place to yeah. stay. Immediately the guests make themselves mm -hmm. at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Baucis, the old lady, begins to worry dogs. they're going uh -huh. to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine mm -hmm. pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine, mm -hmm. and the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves Ooh. to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, <laughs> the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Nice. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed, so we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it, Except you, who we will grant a wish. Mm. So old Baucis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they Aww. receive their wish, awesome. which is for eternity together. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, mm -hmm. the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. Lovely. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion. Less fortunate, less fortunate than ourselves. Than ourselves. Yeah. Or perhaps it's that others may kill you at any moment, but I'm just and I don't even have to tell you what the rules are. A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. Mm -hmm. See you again soon, I hope. I hope so too. Let's go. Sorry My again, man. friend. Time I went and did as you asked, I and tell you. It worked. Yes, sir. Told you. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Um yeah. Uh you're toying. You're a bit like Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. Mm. He was forced to push a great ah, boulder guy. up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over oh, again I don't think for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and mm. over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. No. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. Yes, sir. So, I'll tell you what. 
I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. A good man. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your mm -hmm. secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not oh. wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Can I talk to you about you uh, being uh, magistrate again? Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. No, I have no. Term with What's in okay. your mind? I've bounced the idea around once, but... He will not. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't. You're right, never mind. Never mind. I... Are you seeing this one? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just wandering around looking for some imaginary treasure. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. Some imaginary treasure. That's nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most harmless man you'll ever meet. Sentius really has it in for him, for some reason. Mm -hmm. Gladly. Alright. Thank you. Oh. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? Alright. Let me go up. What's up, girl? What's up, man? Finally up here. Oh, I missed the pop up, whatever that was. We're finally alone. We have? Wait. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Is that about...? Ah, uh, look, it's unfortunate. Now, I... Can we talk about who's going to break... Well, I was hoping I had asked for an investigation. I'd like to Dolly. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That... Perhaps you're not aware he was caught. Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me it was here we mm. see to a the man I would Of course. Yeah. It is assassin who arrived in the city this morning. What? An assassin? What are you talking about? Somebody or two is a certain Then what are you doing here talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go. Quickly. As magistrate. I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand. Forthwith. Nice. I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the mm. lawful order yeah, of yeah, a yeah. magistrate. Fair enough. Um, Any way you can. Despite my weapons ban, it's been my experience one can always find a weapon one looks if one enough. looks hard enough. Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late. I mean, he's the only one that would If you're it. snooping around in my possessions, you're wasting Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> oh, First of all, another one fresh out of. Th oh, I will. Um. Oh, you. I know who he was seeing, it was obvious. Oh, really? That commoner in debt bondage next door thought he could win over a magistrate's daughter. I can see why she worked so hard to keep it a secret. So when you're already he's beside himself about their disappearance, I don't think he's responsible. Oh, I see. Well, it was worth a try, I suppose. Just Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Alright. We will deal with the assassin, the sus assassin, and then we'll end off, I suppose, for now. Hey, Horatius, how does it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? I'm stoic. Hello, Virgil. Damn. More to hit Ah, and you I hear um. Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back mm -hmm. in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. Only on you, huh? But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Not today. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we are going to get on well, friend. Lovely. All right. Nice to see you again in a little. 
Not go in there. What? So Why? It collapse, you idiot. Uh, all right. Um. Fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Good girl. All right. Hello, Mike. Would you like to try that again? I get up already. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius. Ah. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Sure. We got this bathhouse real quick though. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Ah, oh, something about it. Oh, no, it's loading again. <laughs> Okay, there's something about this bathhouse, I guess. I just want to see what happens to this idiot real quick. He's taking a sweet time, yeah, yeah. Okay. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ah, okay, that's this thing that's scattered across the city. Surely, sure, sure. Alright. He's in there. Trying to recover any moment. Curse you, cultist! <laughs> then I can get the boss, thank you. Mine. Now you notice. Ordered the execution of a cultist named Queen Teus. With different colored eyes. It's a dude, 30 to 50, average height, average build, dark hair. One green eye, one blue eye, typically plain shaven. Known associate with the cultists, blah blah blah. <laughs> Alright, we got our sensible ball. Now, what can I do with sensible ball? Where's the one that, uh, you can get? Oh. Where's the bull thing? Them, I guess, okay. Let's do that. Miss Fabia, your bakery, what's up? You. you took care of him? A tragic accident, that's right. An accident? So. it's over? Oh, Ooh, God. It's, he's been doing this. it's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. You're welcome. I. I do have a question, though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you. No, it was going to collapse. There's a bloody sign on the side. No. Really? Then... how? Oh, I see. Oh, I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. Hi. I promise, nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. You're Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Fabia. Sorry, I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? Yes. The one about Virgil. Mmm. Terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. Mm -hmm. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going mm -hmm. on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. Mm -hmm. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. Okay. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armor, I think. Mm. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Rufius. Horatius, <laughs> Domitius or Rufius. I hope that helps. Thanks, that does help. Bye bye now. All right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget I gotcha. it. Don't you worry. Oh. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. Mine. 
No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. But I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. Mm -hmm. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Yes. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, supposedly one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, that is a travesty, a terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop, Aesop the goose right? that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Mm -hmm. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. Uh -huh. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interesting. Yes, it's a cautionary tale. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? No. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Uh, not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, I'm the moon, really and the with underworld, Roman depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden mm -hmm. arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess mm -hmm. herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? Golden bow. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what? Oh, I mean, God's no! <laughs> if you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then okay. you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft That's exactly, not gonna it's more of a... A trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will I lead. Know it's not a good idea. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Mm. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. So, are you in, partner? I'm going to pass for now. Are you sure? Last chance. If you don't like action or a whole okay. Wonderful. This is a quality. Okay. And here we are. A gold voices leaf bow. The, the voices. Whoa. Wow. They go low. Thank you. Now I've gone and unlocked the shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. <laughs> I hope so. Oi, you grumble man. Name's Rufius. No idea what you're talking about. Yeah? Yeah. What the? I'll tell you soon enough. <laughs> I'm on his knees as if uttering a desperate prayer to clear the effect on them. Yes. Turn off the lights. All right. Oh. Did I get it? Have the real thing? When your own mythology is transformed by Diana, the goddess of the hunt and the underworld. Organic matter in the gold. Did he, Did he lock me in? Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock I it I will you. not. And yet you did. And now, here we are. 
with me out here and you in there. Until you give me my bow. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, uh -huh. if it's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a... Oh, I do love... Not a very effective threat, is mm -hmm. it? See, your first problem is you're in there and I'm out here. Your second problem is the golden rule. What are you going to do? Kill us all? It's an empty threat. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognise my own handiwork. Hmm. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather uh, aggressive to all intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out how many it takes to kill a woman, shall we? What an asshole. How does one get out of a temple with no clear of a recommended way to get out? I can even switch off the balls if I wanted to. Yes, the nest. What about the nest? Can we take it on the nest? Lovely, lovely. Alright, the... I could have shot with my gun, but... Mm, might not have broken the floor. Anyway. Now I have a golden bow. And they have a golden horn in nest now. Lovely. Interesting, interesting. There we go. The Templar. Very nice. Find a way to return to the city. Alright. Let's be an underground passageway to some place. Okay. Hey, money. Lovely. The algae. Ah! She did. Okay, okay. Thank you, guys, boys. I guess both, both can do it, yeah. Control and close, sure. Okay. Take a look at the scroll nearby. Tim, sorry. My beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, you can put this down when we're finally no, together, you will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here I'm doing for you. Let me do it for I'll you. start Ooh. at the beginning. Soon after my arrival oh, no. here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper oh, behind me. Pages there. <laughs> I was just a one page. Of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, yeah. tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bar, I heard it again, and I found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking at my As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was, oh, oh, oh. was no statue. This was a woman 
trapped within that golden prison. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within thinking? these statues are living human beings. Yes, I, It was that I day, my anything. love, that my heart broke. Hello, girl. Whoa! She's full gold. Well, I can't make you more gold. Excuse me. Oh, she's bloody. Sorry. I'll do it. Damaging these things. Like... It's hurting my hand. Alright, this is a. Hmm. Nope, that does nothing. To be here. Hello. <laughs> what algae? There's no algae. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I see. Can't end off on the death, certainly. So, <laughs> we'll just do this. Forget the quick save. Forget the save scum. Alright, here we are. Let me just try something. If I if I pew pew them, is that doing anything? Five. Let's try. <coughs> Jeez. I did my little experiment. I am satisfied. This is not my quick save, dude. This is not how to quick load. It quick loads the most recent save, it doesn't quick load the quick save. Hmm. I don't know, man, that's not how that works. Excuse me. Thank 
more arrows up there. Thank you. I missed him. Let me up. No. Yes, no. <laughs> Come on. This is exactly the way that you taught me how to do this. Ow. How many kisses I take anyway? Stop it! Not letting me go up, dude. Oh no. There we fucking go, dude. Oh my lord. Alright, that's the first thing that absolutely feed me. I know. There we go. Saved after getting up there. Eat. Find the face. Oh. I find the face. Once I get irritated, here he goes. Hello. 
Are you giving it all then? My beloved Galatea. Another one. After I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. Mm -hmm. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. Mm -hmm. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them, preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales. My mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story. Mm -hmm. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face, forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Mm. Our meeting gave me new purpose to free you from your golden prison so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. Mm -hmm. They could stop. Kill me! <laughs> Side gym rig, you know? Cool. Cool beans, cool beans. Yeah, I don't know, Norman. Terrified by something unknown. Why? For the rich. Alas, I did not. Saves coming, saves coming. Saves coming my way to the bank. Take a look at the scroll now. My beloved Galatea, my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first child was a Greek woman who I called Iodana after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. 
drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, it is so rigid, it must be some kind of <laughs> Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin. So removing it, it exposed the skin and muscle beneath, and it moved to cause the gold to fall. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule. And yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning what? these poor souls does not care about their disability at all. They are for something. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, mm -hmm. but when no. I released her from her restraints, Ugh. her first act was to lunge for my throat, ah, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on Hello. It's not me. On you? Ah. Uh. Hello. You must be Nebia. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace disturbed. and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed me? away. You're going to pay for that. Um, good luck with that. Nothing to do with me. Liar. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in you agony. All, yourself, all I wanted was to spend my last moments with her. To see her beautiful face. To hear her speak freely instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering to you instead. What's so special about you? What do you mean the same voice? Someone else, yeah, exactly. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. See? Yeah. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. Mm -hmm. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody. And everything I've done here was... was... Wait, I see what you're doing. Uh. You're trying to steal her away from no. me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done all the hard work? I mean, I'm just trying in. to get back into the city. It? I swear. Liar. You tried to steal her away from me. And now look what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you. This too. golden bow. What? What are you talking about? They're trapped in the tunnels of the city. Wait. So you're saying you weren't coming for exactly us? Exactly not. So I did all this. I ruined her. For nothing. What have I done? Yeah. Oh God, I feel sick. I am. I can't bear the thought of her being like this. And in so much pain. That's your fault, girl. It's the air. Coming into contact with her flesh, it's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again. No. And we'd be together. All it would take is one 
little cut. I'd be only, I'd, I'd be only too happy to imprison you, old. It's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. I think I'll run a girl again. What? How? It's golden bow. Really? I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll I'll give you the key to my old medical chest in the Shrine of Apollo. Ooh, okay. I imagine it would help Lucretia ease the suffering of those still in the city. Mm -hmm. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. Understood? Sure. Stand back. There we go. You did it. You took away her pain. I told you. I don't know what to say. My device is Thank almost dying. You. Again. Thank you. It's not ever stopped I lagging. Swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear first, yeah. the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. Here's the key I promised you. It opens a chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I believe there are a few things in there which may be useful to Lucretia. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I will have to turn this off real quick and then get back on. So BRB, because this thing is low battery. So yeah, in a bit. Sorry about that, we are now back in good. Let's go wrap this up for now, shall we? Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down mm -hmm. from there. Goodbye. Go, and never return. Sure. If you wish. If I turn into gold. At least we'll all be golden together. There we go. Shall suffer. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I forget that's not how this works. Right? <clears throat> how do I leave? Go to the front. What? Are you still here? I don't know how to get out. Girl. There we go. I went the wrong way. <laughs> ah, lovely. Hello everyone. Oh, I am alive. Locked. Hmm. Where's this gun? Wonder how much one of these statues is worth. Don't talk to me like we're friends. Oh, uh, hello there, partner. I am. Um, I'm glad you're here. I think there might have been some uh, confusion about my little practical joke mm -hmm. earlier. You see, my plan was to give you a little fright. You know, like two friends joking around at the Saturnalia, and then surprise, I'd open no. the door. But when I opened it, you were gone. Partner, there's no need for friends. Yeah, well, I don't have to listen to this. Get lost. Don't even talk to me. Cunt. What you get. The many shall suffer. Alright. Alright. Boo. <laughs> Can't bring it to justice quite yet. Anywho. What else can I do? Since that's done. I'm gonna do this. Stranger. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. 
shut up. Get out of here. Hey, do. Mariolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. No. Do I seem like anonymous threats of my style? Neither does you. You don't know Sturkus. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Hello, Tegan. I hope you have a good reason for flouting my way. Obviously. What is it, citizen? What? Absolutely not. I know someone's been thrown. You know. All right. All right. Figure out, investigate. I will believe it's one of them. Have a look through their homes. Okay. Let's go do that then. Oh. Two to die, sir. One lives in the slums. In the slums. And then in the slums. Fortune smile. Don't believe a word they tell. I do not, don't worry. It's so dark all of a sudden. It's nighttime. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. <laughs> okay. Canaries. A dice tower. Stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly, cheating must be a problem among the Romans. <laughs> Scaring the shield when with him when he arrived in the city. Okay. Yep. This guy, there's not much else. Right? Yep. Oh. One more down here. Let the buyer beware. Room shield. Nothing really. Fermented bottle. There's thing on it. Fish sauce. I love fish sauce. Never really have it. Just in areas again. Fish sauce. Hmm. Is that what they use as graffiti, maybe? I doubt it. From the first Italica? Horatius. Okay. And you have one more. You have a golden man. There are a few golden men in here. A symbol of fish. Religious. Okay. Stone go. Thought by the Romans to have divine protective properties. Sure. <laughs> Ooh. Aha. It is Rufi. See, I know it. All that grumbling wasn't for nothing, you know. However, this is it was not a golden day, it was almost. <clears throat> oh, I could tell tell it real quick, yeah. I did that. On your best behavior, Hello. I trust. I hope you have a good we'll speak again after you've carried out my order. I did it already. Ah, I see. If you stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it. Yeah. Still, allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to break paradoxes, it, okay. the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a mm -hmm. paradox. To illustrate. When the golden rule is Excuse broken, me. I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. Yeah. You see? 
the same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, mm -hmm. obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us and yourself. So the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work to do. Break the paradox. Understand? Yeah. I think so. Excellent. So it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Um. Of course. What is it? I just suffer this one person before we get to have us now. If you've stopped one person from breaking it and you've Oopsie, allowed me to sorry. To, if I so excellent just of course yes it is definitely I want to get rid of this use. why do you say that an asshole as for helping out the people who are going to make money when you say he asked for help you're not thinking of helping him not anymore. Good. But still, he's been trying to enlist help with this for months. Even if you don't help him, it's only a matter of time before he becomes desperate enough to do mm -hmm. it himself. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. But before we proceed, I must ask, are you sure he's No, but I just want to get rid of him. <laughs> well then, in that case, as much as it pains me to do so, I must act decisively to ensure the survival of my people. As magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand. Forthwith. All right. Again. <laughs> Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late. Can we make an actual save? And then let's try one of these paradoxes he was talking about, you know? What is that thing? And why are you pointing it at it's me? It's a gun. <laughs> I was planning to kill you with it. If you kill me, we all die. Remember, I just want to dress something up. Allow me to explain. Look, to, if you the same, if I everyone would die, and I'd return to my with no way back. Woo. Indeed. Why are these anything else? Thank you. I'll be waiting. The many shall <laughs> suffer for the sins of the one. The other priest says, Wee! <laughs> yeah, I did create a paradox. This is the base paradox, so let's see. <laughs> I wonder what would happen, huh? Whoa! Alworth! Oh. Big man! Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Alworth, I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I was hoping you'd know who I am. Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, mm -hmm. trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone Ooh. with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine mm -hmm. of Proserpina and murdered the local magistrate, breaking some kind of mm -hmm. ancient law. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and the statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the mm -hmm. city's inhabitants. Apparently, as the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash know. of light. What do you know? Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. I, I'm not sure I understand. I first arrived here in the present day. I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Come again? Yeah. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so see? familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Oh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past. And your fate. 
I, uh, I'm not following. I got the man open the time portal and drew you back in time, running it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of Basically. this. Basically. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from mm -hmm. the dead to let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a way out, and never found one. I can't see how I could possibly find one now, so... It seems like we're both gonna die. Nice. I regret nothing! How can you say that? You murdered a man in cold blood, <laughs> and now there's a city full of uh -huh. dead people. And it's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis mm -hmm. dolabat. The many shall suffer. For the sins of the one. Ending 104. <laughs> Alright. That's one of it, yeah, sure. How many might have survived if you hadn't killed Sentius in cold blood? <laughs> it's it's a tip, not a title. Wow! Look at this guy right here. Director, writer, designer, and producer. Programmer, lead artist. Thank you, Mr. Pierce, Mr. Goss, Mr. Air, Alan, and some doctors too. Hell yeah. Barrett, studio, shoots. Lovely. Hey. Very good, very good. Honestly, I want to keep jump. I want to keep going. I want to jump back in right now. Mm. From beyond the white hallway. I'm guessing this is the white hallway? I don't know. Continue. 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 Right. Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late. Let's go. What is that thing over there? I don't like the scum. Scum of the earth. Get him out of here. The 49 melodies fetch again with incessant labor. The water they have Do lost. Uh, I know. Though I. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man mm -hmm. is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. His agitation is a bigger threat. Gods of Rome don't care about homosexuality, so why do they care? Yeah? Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so... You know. Yeah, exactly. What's your problem? It makes me... Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't like <laughs> Yes, there's you tension. Take that back before I No, nope, I will you. not. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, <laughs> I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> now that's funny. I gotta I gotta persuade him again though. Can I do it again? I am not. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, that bit of back and forth. Great writing. All right. The forty. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. With incessant Excuse labor. me. The water they have lost. What's up, ugly? Don't even talk to okay. me. Okay. Kappa merda. The 
the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I guess it's not him. Okay. All right. All right. It's not him. Sadly, <laughs> I just want to do. All right. So we're going to end off with our journey for now into the Forbidden City. Okay. Everyone it shut your mouth and try to do the outro. The Thank you all so much for joining me on this lovely little excursion. This forgotten and lovely little city. I can't make myself third person, like I don't know what we look like, but yeah. For now, me and Asius bid you adieu. Thank you so much. Love you. Goodbye.